Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the show. Let's get my next guest out here now. He is a huge movie star. He's a, an incredibly talented actor. But here's what's excited me the most at the moment. He was recently given the freedom of his hometown, Ballymena, which allows him to drive his flock of sheep through that town whenever the mood takes him. <laughs> That's essentially all we're going to talk about. <laughs> Will you please welcome Mr. Liam Neeson, ladies and gentlemen. Here he is. Liam, you look great. You look fit and healthier than the last time I saw you. I think you look uh, in the best shape. I think you've been for donkey's years. Have you uh, have you been in extra right. working right. regimen or something? Yeah, or I've got nine films coming out this year. Believe it. Wow, me. four no. of them are animated. Really? Yeah. They keep it's sending me these action scripts, so I have to keep. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but so what a great thing to have that reason to keep in shape. I know. I would have true. thought, because most of us men of a certain age, because we're both in our late thirties, we feel we should. <laughs> true. We, we what's, feel we what's should. Funny yeah. About I know. That. Uh, so, and you're in a new one now. We're gonna, the new film is an action movie. I love you in the action movies, but what a weird um, kind of swerve your career took there, really, because for years you were you were a stage actor, and then you were kind of in more kind of thoughtful kind of movies, more sensitive, sensible. Yeah, yeah, kind of a different kind of movie. And then suddenly, bam! You're punching people so yeah. well, we can't get enough of it. Yeah. <laughs> It must be a very different experience than making that kind of movie, I guess. Or is it a, a similar is, thing? I've been saying recently, I'm doing this press junket for non-stop, but it's like, I feel like a kid in a big sandbox, you know? It's terrific. I love doing that stuff. Yeah. We talk about the new movie. The new movie is called Non-Stop. Uh, it's out on the 28th of February. It's a great action, kind of tense action thriller. But it's yeah. not... It's interesting, because the Taken ones, there's a lot of fighting. This, there isn't quite as much in it. It's more of a tension building. Yeah, it's, it's, like a, it's like a throwback yeah. to the old Hitchcock films. It's set in an aeroplane, 30,000 feet in the air, <laughs> and uh, things happen to me. I, I start getting these text messages from well, you're, someone. And you're the, he's the air marshal. Oh, well, you've just spoiled it. Thanks. <laughs> well, no, that, you, that, how's that, has that I'm, spoiled it? Well, you saw the film. I'm, I thought that was right at the very beginning of the movie. Anyway, okay, oh, I'm an air marshal. Right. Okay, well, let's, uh, okay, now let's do that again. Uh, no, it does it, Liam is on the plane for a reason. He might be an air marshal or a passenger. <laughs> Tell us what happens. Or, a, or, or, or drunk, you know, a or, nasty guy, you know. He could be the So anyway, guy. he starts getting these uh, text messages from someone on the aircraft telling him that someone's going to die every 20 minutes unless a certain sum of money is put into this account. And... Uh, and it starts. I swear, with this film, you sit down, you see an incredible piece of entertainment, and I say that with all honesty. Yeah. You get up from your seat and it feels as if half an hour has passed. And you don't know, you don't know what's coming next. That's what I liked about no. it. It's one of those films where you don't know what's coming next. And you don't know who... who you don't know the who's, nasty guy, You don't know maybe. who's the air marshal. I mean, you don't know anything. <laughs> Let's have a look. Non-stop is that. It's great fun. If you like the action movie, but one with a cleverer twist and more tension, this is the one for you. 28th of February. Look at this. There you go. Non-stop. All takes place on a plane, more or less. Um, but uh, I imagine if someone was a bit scared of flying, I don't want to put anyone else, but there are moments in that where you would think, whoa, because sure. anything that happens sure. on a plane, people yeah, do yeah. get nervous. Are you a, a, a scared flyer? I, or you know something, flyer? I'm not. Um, I can't wait to see this film on an airplane and see, uh, hopefully see other passengers <laughs> watching it so I can go up to the bathroom and walk back <laughs> very slowly. You know? It's like a movie in 4D. You know? <laughs> Julianne Moore's in it. Mm. Uh, Lady Mary from Downton Abbey, Michelle Doherty. Yeah, Lady Terrific Mary, girl. she's working as a hostess. She's gone down in the world. She's... <laughs> she's well, the... no, she might be a hostess. She's on the plane. Yeah. Uh, she's still... <laughs> it was funny, Julianne Moore, who was, who was my suspicious partner, she, every day we were on set, she was asking Michelle, trying to extract information from her about season three of Downton Abbey. Uh, <laughs> that was very funny. Uh, okay, let me ask you about some of the other recent films. Uh, the Titans movies you made, there were two, weren't there? Is that yes. Right? Clash of and the Wrath of, or Wrath of, as Clash they say Clash of the Titans and Wrath of the okay. Titans. Okay, real over the top, crazy movies. Uh, and you, uh, you've got the beard going on. There you go, that's a fine beard. Yeah. The full rope. And was Ray Fiennes in both of them, or just in one Ray of them? Ray Fiennes was in both. Uh, yeah, yeah. He plays Zeus, he plays my uh, brother, Hades, who rules the underworld. 
the last time we acted together was in Schindler's List. Yeah. He's one of my best, best, dearest friends. I get the feeling when you're on screen together, obviously Schindler's List is different, it's gut-wrenching when you're on screen because he yeah. was such an unpleasant piece of work in there. Yeah. But uh, I get the feeling there's so much fun comes off the screen when you're playing in those Titans movies. No, we do. And uh, the, first, the first time we actually had a scene together and... Uh, we just couldn't look at each other, you know, <laughs> had to keep looking at the forehead, you know, we'd start laughing and giggling. Well, and just because of the outfits? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all that. But, and I keep getting, uh, uh, fans and stuff mixed me up with Rafe, because from the profile, we have very similar profiles. Yes, actually you, you are, know? I didn't realize, yeah. So I've been complimented on winning a Tony Award for my Hamlet, which was 15 years ago. <laughs> Nowadays, I, I used to start going, no, I'm sorry, you're thinking of Rafe Fiennes. Nowadays, I just go, thank you very much. <laughs> He's been complimented on the Tekken movies, a few occasions. And there was one, I've got to tell you this story. Uh, it was the anniversary of the D-Day landings. 50 years ago was this anniversary. I can't remember how many years ago now, 15, 16 years ago. And my wife and I were walking through the Plaza Athene Hotel in Paris. I was there doing publicity for something. And these two couples, these elderly couples, my wife and I were passing, they got up and this lady says, excuse me, can I introduce you to my husband and his best friend who landed on D-Day 50 years ago and they're now going up to the beaches of Normandy to walk by themselves. Incredible. They're going to start crying, God, and, and just walk and, and honour their comrades who died, you know. So I'm, I'm just kind of floored by this. And we shake hands and, well, have a great trip. I said something, I, I don't know what to say to you. You know, congratulations for living. Thank you for liberating all of us. And I was about to move away and the lady produced this, the Plaza Athens, they have these incredible menus. And she said, would you mind signing this? I said, I'd be honored. So I get this, and as I'm right, just about to write my name, she says, we love the English patient. <laughs> so I, I didn't break stride, I just wrote, with love, Ray Fiennes. You know? <laughs> But what a lovely thing to do. That's a lovely thing for you to do. It's a lovely thing for them to do. Yeah, but you know, you don't want to say that to make them... That was no. a lovely thing you did. Um, well, is it true fun. that you might be doing Taken 3 as well? That might be on the horizon? Yeah, we're going to do it this year. Um, this year? Yeah. But how many... When... How careless is he with his family? Uh, they get in that again, didn't he? Shouldn't he start paying attention? Or they should just go in the witness protection program or something? It's bad parenting, isn't it? But I did say, when they called up, I said, listen, I'll do it as long as nobody gets taken. <laughs> and they went, ha, ha, ha. I says, I'm serious. So it's not taken three. So you it's found taken three, but they, we have a really, really good story. But it can't it. be the same people from the same village, because you killed them all, didn't They're you? They're all dead. Apart from some really old grannies. Yeah. Maybe it's the old grannies are coming to get you. <laughs> Okay, uh, Liam, I love having you on the show. I appreciate Thanks you coming so on so it's much. You're, you're, you. And you're a great actor, you know that, but we all love seeing you in the movies, don't we, ladies and gentlemen? So I'd love to see you back on stage. You don't stop making the movies. Go and see non-stop in February. A great action, tense action thriller. Liam Neeson, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you. Just as we say thank you to Liam and all my guests tonight.